I think I made a Georgia video once like four years ago, and I haven't thought about Georgia as a country since. Which is made funnier if you consider the fact that Georgia is like a real country that exists right now. <laughs> anyway, since this is still a pre-release version of 1.36 and the uh, Kings of Kings DLC, I feel like checking out some of the other nations that uh, I'm just gonna cross my fingers no one else is playing immediately upon the release of the DLC. And uh, honestly, I don't really remember what they gave Georgia. I'm not gonna read the dev diary. I read it before. I don't remember, too late, I don't care. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. One thing I do remember from the dev diaries though is that there is an achievement for Georgia, a new one, there already was one, but whatever that achievement is, it's not actually in the game yet, so I can't even be bothered to play Iron Man. <laughs> Doesn't matter either way. And if something breaks, at least I'll have access to the console, because, you know, early access. <laughs> so, what's up my Georges and Georgettes? Seems like we have some problems to start off with. That's great. So, we need to finish the Preventing the Collapse mission before the disaster fires. Probably the better thing to do. Let's see, what do we have to do to fix that? We need 90 legitimacy. We need an heir with a stronger claim than 60. Okay, so either one of those things works. I can literally press the button in a few months to increase legitimacy, so. That doesn't seem that bad. And then we also need to annex that guy. Okay, I do have cores. That works. Problem is, uh, how much time do I have before that becomes a problem? I guess we'll find out. I'm guessing we probably don't want to exhaust ourselves with war to begin with, so may or may not want to grab all the power points right now. I think it'll be most pressing to take the nobility one and religious state, but probably not the diplo one yet. We'll take clerical ministers and we'll grab Supremacy over the crown, of course. Then we'll pick up patronage of the arts. Uh, free enterprise is probably fine. You know what? I'll grab that too. Right, are we Coptic or are we Orthodox? I don't even remember. Orthodox. Okay, perfect. In that case, it's probably within our interest to invade people who are also Orthodox, but we don't have a lot of options for that, so we'll go with Shervan, Ramia, and Genoa for now. As for allies, wow, we do not have a lot of options. Okay, we'll go with you for now. Oh, apparently that finishes off this mission. Well, that's good. Not gonna press it yet because that would be a waste of core creation cost if I don't plan on invading anybody immediately. I still kind of want to deal with these two first. Okay, you know what? Let me just see how bad this disaster looks. How bad is it, Doc? How much time do I have left? Wow, that is, uh, that's 11 years. <laughs> Land owned by the crown, less than 25%. Oh no. Maybe I shouldn't have handed out those privileges. <laughs> okay, basically, we need to get married quickly. We need an heir, like, immediately. Hey, hey, bro, wanna, wanna marry me, bro? Please? Let's go. No heir, but that's a good step. Right, that just decreased my legitimacy. I feel so stupid right now. <laughs> I might have to increase it twice. Yeah, I, I really should have clicked the button once, but that's that's fine. I'll figure it out. Okay, actually, I've changed my mind, and since there's no penalty for uh, going to war, I'm gonna do it. Ooh, that might change my plans. Okay, new plan. We're putting down a revolt. Genoese exiles? Yeah, that's probably fine. We'll take that. Okay, we can probably put this down now. Never mind. Okay, there we go. So since I'd rather not RNG meme my way out of this disaster, uh, I think I'm just gonna boost up the legitimacy twice. Should I have done this earlier, so I only had to do it once, but hey, you live and you learn, right? Press the button twice, we finish this off. It also slows down the progress. Perfect. Now, when it comes to the crown land, I'm fairly certain we would probably lose land if I invaded somebody. I'm not entirely sure if I want to do that. Ooh, free stability. I do like free stability. Actually, you know what? It's only 70 to boost this up once, and to boost it up the second time is 120, which is still pretty cheap, so I am gonna grab that. And then I'm gonna grab the third one. But anyway, since I've bought us a little bit more time, I will go to war, actually. With or without the Miltech. Alright, let's do it. We are gonna ask our subject. Who are you? Samsky, right. Okay, you are gonna help me with this. I send the cavalry over there, because the cavalry are expensive to reinforce. And you're going to help me, thank you. Please? Samsky, what the hell, man? Samsky. There are 20,000 Ajumis. Okay, whatever. Well, we're still sitting on it. It's fine. If you know it's not fine, this. That's kind of a problem. So we're gonna send one guy over, which shouldn't change that okay yeah we're still the uh the owner we're gonna send you there and i might actually send like you more guys here but that should be enough oh maybe that's not enough Th this this could be a real problem actually hold on i am just temporarily although i really hope he doesn't die i'm just gonna make this guy into a military leader i i need something here anything actually oh that's that's another problem uh we actually have a lot of problems you know what solves problems money okay am i being attacked i think that's a yes which means they're gonna help me let's go actually if they lock in somebody who's not locked in is probably just gonna wipe that one stack so there might be a chance here for me to just move this guy yeah i i knew it i knew it you can't fool me here send the cavalry here because that's dry lens they're more effective 
highlands yeah we can probably just defend that oh god oh hold on wait oh we're cooking we are cooking so hard <laughs> all right round two let's see it beautiful just beautiful i don't think i could have asked for anything better that's perfect okay we gotta go save this siege real quick Please do not collapse. Thank you. Get wiped, idiot. Clown. Okay, we clearly have a lot more people. We're not going to have this advantage for long, so we're just going to go straight over to Dulkadir. My ally can go and start cleaning up a jam before a jam hires 27 gazillion mercenaries. Yep, never mind. They're dead. All right, it would be super convenient for me if you just, like, died right here. Well, that's a good roll. Okay, we're cooking. Perfect. We're just going to convince them to leave a little bit. 60 Diplo power, definitely more useful right now. Dulkadir, I'm just going to ask for war reps, money, maybe that alliance. Actually, that alliance is not going to last. We'll just take that then. Siege of Shirvan, over. Perfect. This is still Scorch, so this guy has no idea what's about to happen to him. Then we can get the boys back together and deal with that. I'd have to do a little bit of uh, consolidation. Beautiful. You know, when I started this war, I was just thinking better to do something rather than nothing, but we're actually winning, so kind of surprising. I uh, kind of didn't think we'd get this far. Ooh, 3-3-1. Three, three, I, hmm, minus five yearly legitimacy for five years? I don't even think this is a Georgian event. I think this is just horrible RNG. You know what? Y you gotta do what you gotta do, right? God, that is such a bad air. Better than his father, but that's not saying much. 50% liberty desire in Samsky. These guys, why? Why? Why are you like this? Okay, I don't really have an option here, I guess. Well, you know what? Actually, it's not that bad. I trust, high opinion, royal marriage, probably fine. Okay, well, fine is being used loosely, but it'll it'll be fine eventually. One of the main reasons I'm still sieging down a jam at this point is because I kind of just want them dead. It's best for me if everybody in this region is super weak, so like, I know the Timurids are probably gonna collapse. The Mamluks are gonna beat up Kara, so they're gonna be super weak. The Ottomans are gonna be a problem, yeah. Well, anyway, we'll get there when we get there. Oh no, bro. Oh. Oh no, bro. Ah. Uh, okay, new plan. We're just gonna peace out with you. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Hmm. Not a big fan of the 1450 war against the Ottomans, but uh, hey, you know, sometimes sometimes plans don't work out. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna finish this off, I guess. Now, another big problem is I wanted to decrease the autonomy in these regions before going to war again. I guess that's not happening. Uh, and yeah, I guess I can kiss that crown land goodbye. That's not happening either. Oh, and, and you know what? I just realized that means uh, I've, if this war lasts too long, I'm also not going to be able to integrate Sensky. Oh God. Yeah, we're having a fantastic time. Well, uh, I can repay all my loans and take out slightly larger loans. And I can cross my fingers that I might be able to exhaust the enemy manpower on our forts. Maybe. Not that I really have a lot of forts. I have two. <laughs> oh boy, okay. No, no, no. We've got this. We got this. Can't give up before we've started. What is it? Like a 10,000 men difference? Pfft, it's easy. Don't even worry about it. Actually, if I could just get Ak Koyonlu to leave, like it doesn't even have to be specifically the Ottomans that we have to beat. You know what? We, everybody here gets there on the 31st, which means this should be a good defensive battle? Yes. Solid. I should siege this and scorch it because it's going to be a decent choke point. Oh god, this is such a bad battle. But if everybody goes in the Trebizond, it might not be that bad. It's only 13,000 people. They have tech four. But like, if we have double the people, it's probably fine, I think. Actually, no, it's not fine. <laughs> Those guys are dead. All right, I know they're coming around to here. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and scorch that. And that's not my fight. Okay. God, please, somebody come help me. Somebody? Anybody? Please? Dude, my allies suck. Oh, never mind. That is actually a fight. Ah, uh, okay. I was still thinking it was the other one. That's pretty bad. I was thinking, oh, it's fine. You know, my allies will come and help me. They're not going to help me. Okay. Surely I'm going to get help now, right? Somebody? Anybody? Okay. Okay. We get a little bit of help. That's good. Let me take out the good loans and we'll hire... Ah, there's got to be somebody we can hire. 42 days. Nine days. Okay. I guess we're going to go with the auxiliaries. Oh, wow. That that Anatolian tech is no joke, bro. <laughs> okay. We can't exactly afford to walk back in there at the moment. Uh, we're just going to clean up those troops. That should be something we can do. Oh, Fully. I don't like it when they're not moving, though. They feel like they can win when they don't move. But no, we should be fine. Just like eventually we need them to realize that it's not worth the fight. We have four mountain forts. Please stop fighting me. Five mountain forts. Actually, we have six mountain forts. Please stop fighting me. You're not going to attack me on these, are you? 
this mountain? Please don't. Oh my god, man. Okay, whatever. Actually, we're leaving that. It's not worth it. Uh, same thing with the capital. We're leaving. We're just not going to fight that. You should not walk in there either. And we can put on a defensiveness and fort defense. Yeah, I wouldn't siege that if I were you. Trust me, when I get that next mill tackle, I'm coming back. I just need to wait until February of the next year. See, the thing is, I don't think Trebizond's gonna last until February when we get the tech, so this might not be a great place to sit. Also, what on earth? Are you doing a naval invasion? Is that a joke? Ottomans attempt the worst naval invasion ever seen. Asked to leave the Caucasus. Uh, maybe I should have scorched that. Those guys are super dead. Uh-oh. Well, maybe we can help them lose a little bit less. Oh, never mind. It's just one guy. Who cares? Ooh, that's not good. Okay, we have to fall back again, but I have some kind of plan, maybe. Now, in theory, the Ottomans don't know I'm here because of Fog of War. In reality, the AI knows I'm here, but we should be able to pick up the next tech and wipe them in a few months. Now I can grab that, and we should be good to go. All right, gentlemen. Either we win here or we lose the entire war. That's, uh... <laughs> pretty much how it is. Bruh, you have to be joking. Come on, man. Yeah, the, you just, you can't recover from a one to nine, bro. All right, come on, Gazakamuk. This is your homeland we're defending. Come on. The Ottomans shouldn't be able to see us here. Let's go. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna help out with that, maybe? I think that would be a good idea. Okay, uh, Gazakamuk, please don't leave yet, man. Hold on. We can, we can siege a few things. We will fix this, I promise, bro. We're totally fine. You know, the Ottomans, they have no more manpower, 26,000 men. We know that, what is that, 20,000? are right here. So the 6,000 completely by itself. We can wipe this out easy. Come on, bro. This is like the one thing we have to do. We need to whittle down the Ottomans just to get them to leave. Oh, no. The king was also my best general. Oh, oh God. We're... Yeah. Maybe I should have grabbed that to start with. Okay. Plan number... I don't remember what we're at right now. Uh, We're just gonna hit them from behind where they least expect it. Or maybe they thought about that. Hey, hold on a second. Can I just like... Huh. Yeah, look, can, I, can I just walk around that? Thanks. <laughs> They're on tech three still. The Ottomans are leaving the siege. Okay. It's not over yet. Clean stack wipe. We take that. No more siege for you. You can just unsiege your land. That's fine. Yeah, come on. No, no. Unsiege. Unsiege. Have at it. This is your territory. We can fix your war exhaustion a little bit if you just siege your land back, brother. Okay, hold on. I'll siege it for you. Oh, oh God. No, wait. <laughs> Oh, I sent that poor stack to its death. Tragic, honestly. Okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe we just unsiege this. Maybe that's it. And then we and then we leave. Then we can just wrap around and slap that stack right there. Okay, Ottomans can try and siege that. You know what? Actually, just have fun. A hundred percent defensiveness. Be my guest. Me and my boys are gonna walk in there, mess you up a little. That is, if my boys get there on time. Come on, chop chop. As a Kamuki, don't understand. I cannot fight this battle. Okay, well somehow we're still managing to win. Oh. You left just from that? They stepped on the capital and that's it? Oh, it's so over for me. We just need to burn a little bit of Ottoman manpower. Or actually, can I just pay you to leave? No, okay. Then perish. That's right. Stack a bunch of people on that fort, why don't you? You haven't even reached the final boss of sieging yet. That has to be a joke, right? There's no way you would even consider calling me into this. Come on. 50,000 Ottomans perished. And for what? For what, Ottomans? For nothing. That's what I thought. And you? White piece. That's all I can afford at this point. Like, I, I need to bring this country back together immediately. I can't afford to protract this war any longer. It took six years to repel the invaders. Oh god. Okay, can I take land back now, please? As a treat. And you need immediate annexation. Alright, royal marriage annexation. Let's just do it. <laughs> you want mill access. You know what? No. You don't get mill access. You've lost your mill access privileges. Here we go. Integration. Oh my god, finally. Yes. A house divided is complete, preventing the collapse. Oh, baby. Dude, that is definitely one of the most stressful EU4 starts I've ever had. Oh, we're alive. So I guess I should take that. Now, what I do want to do is decrease some autonomy. I think I would like that, actually. Thanks. We need money. We need manpower. Anyway, you're looking pretty invadable right now. Okay, so since both my allies have abandoned me, well, you haven't abandoned me, but I don't trust you. You should probably look for somebody else, like Muscovy. They would actually accept. That's pretty good. I know if Eventually, we get a personal union on them, right? That is something I remember from the dev diary. If we ally Muscovy, we get 20 Strelsies, and the alliance is pretty much free. But if I rival Muscovy, I get a union CB on them, and that's crazy. So for the time being, we'll be friends until I'm strong enough to rival them, and then... You know, I'll rival them and then press that button. Okay, first order of business, ally Muscovy. We're in a mildly better situation financially. So hopefully we should uh, also be able to invade Karakoyonlu relatively soon using 
mercenaries. Ooh, if we improve to ability four times, we get a pretty solid bonus for it. And I do have maybe a touch of extra mill power to spare. Not very much, but just like a little bit. Okay, there we go. A little bit of support for the Renaissance can go a long way. Well, anyway, let's go to war with Karakoyonlu. I'll ask my friend to join because he doesn't want anything and I need extra troops. Can only take two provinces though, so yeah. Oh, come on, please. Please let me win this. That's not looking very good. I don't like that zero to eight roll. <laughs> okay, uh, casualties aren't great, but we're still here, so I'll take that. Okay, well, this is all I can take and this is pretty much everything that I want. War reps, money, those two provinces, and they have no allies, so yeah, we'll just take it. Why not? You know, maybe I should get some more allies. Much easier said than done. Circassia is kind of a mixed bag. I do want to invade them, but I can't yet because, you know, tributary state. So I guess I could ally you for now. No royal marriage, just ally. Here we go. We can take some land back. So that means I'm actually going to uh, grab land of commerce and take that land back. You know what? I am going to extend this regency. Not a huge fan of this guy. Oh boy. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. That's, oh, that's really bad. You know, there's actually a mission down here to uh, turn this guy into a vassal. I really would have liked that. I can't afford to fight the Ottomans right now. <laughs> Not a second time. You know who I can afford to invade though? These guys. Now, I can't exactly uh, core this territory. I'm so far behind on admin tech, but I could make some new vassals and that would be nice, especially since that is a mountain capital fort and that is a level three mountain fort. I like mountain forts. Okay, let me come up with a genius plan one second. So let me just uh, scorch this and then we leave and then I'm going to put the fort down to see what they do. Oh, come on, buddy. You know you want to do it. This is a free fort lying right there. There should be no problem. Did the AI get smart or something? Like, what? What happened? <laughs> Last time I checked, obvious bait worked. Okay, they're locked in. We raised the fort. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Beautiful. That's how you lay out some good bait. There it is. Okay, well, uh, we would have a slight problem, which is a uh, jam declared war on Tabriz, which would make it impossible for me to vassalize them, except I can just do that. So, yeah. In fact, I might just do this. It's quite a lot of aggressive expansion, but it's really not that bad. I'll vassalize this guy, and then I'll take this dude's land and release him as a vassal. Easy. Except I'm going to do it through this menu for more money. Actually, should I vassalize this guy or should I just take his land? Taking his land is 15 aggressive expansion. Vassalizing is more. That doesn't make any sense, but you know what? I'll just take it. That's fine. Yeah, not gonna core them. Just gonna release them as vassals. And also, I'll pick up strong duchies. Okay, let's do a few things. First of all, I'm going to dev this province twice, even though that's such a really bad idea. Oh well. I actually want to sell titles and then take the land back. And I need to dev something like a tiny little bit, so probably the capital can upgrade that and slap on a development and spam out, I don't know, a little bit of mill or something. Maybe like one dev click. Should I expand infrastructure? Probably, yeah. I would like to rival the Ottomans. That would be great, thank you. For the first age ability, I think improved war taxes are the only thing that's worth it. Okay, so I've devved up Tbilisi to 30 development. One, because uh, it gives us the Renaissance, and two, because it gives us a large city. Might be useful. Also means I can start rivaling other people that uh, everyone seems to be hating as well, so that works for me. It also means that this is a free war that I absolutely need to start immediately. Just no questions asked. Yeah, we're going to war. I can't even afford to like deal with those rebels. Like, <laughs> I gotta go. I'm taking that. Admin tech, not too expensive. For the first idea group, listen, it might sound stupid, but I'm taking defensive ideas, okay? Just for the fun of it. That's it. You might say, why not quantity ideas? I just don't feel like it. Sometimes the mountain hurdle strategy just kind of calls to you, you know? A comically tall mountainous defense Georgia strat. What could be better than that? So I actually will be integrating this guy. Rest of expansions, still not that bad. It could be worse. But we're not quite done yet because I kind of want to go to war with the Great Horde. They're only allied to Akkoyonlu, which is so perfect you have no idea what kind of sigh of relief I had when I saw this. Like a, a gift from the legendary John Paradox himself, founder of Paradox. But anyway, that being said, now for the next reform, I'm probably going to go with expand the Royal Court just so I can get reforms faster. And then, you know, eventually once we have all the reforms, we can just swap that back. Since we're on Tech 6 and I think both of our enemies are on Tech 5 or Tech 4 even. Wow, that's embarrassing. Anyway, it should really be no problem to attack either of these stacks. So from Akoyonlu, what we want is pretty simple. We want money, which will fix the economy. We want them to break their lines with the Ottomans and we want to make sure that they can't get that alliance back before the truce is over so 10 years okay maybe instead of fixing the economy i'll embrace the renaissance but you know 
the same diff. It had to be done eventually. Okay, uh, right. Well then. So the heir died during the Regency. Tragic. Oh no, what will we do? We're forced to replace him with a guy who is marginally better. Fortunately, that heir is awful, so we're gonna have to get rid of them too. The Great Horde's no longer a threat to expansion in the north, so I might have to, uh, you know, leave the caucuses a little bit. Particularly, I just want the Astrakhan node. And that coalition is... Oh, that that's really bad, actually. Oh no. Maybe I won't take all that land. You know what? <laughs> I can show a bit of restraint. Okay, I can show a bit of restraint, just four provinces, the trade centers, you know. Then money, humiliation, and we're fine. That allows us to complete the gates of Alexander, except uh, I'm not going to get the bonus thing because I don't have two subjects with their capitals in the Caucasia region. Yeah, it's kind of a hard thing to do when you own like 90% of the region, so I guess I'm just not going to get that. Do get 100 admin though, which I can spend on uh, pouring a little bit. We can also complete this mission. Gives us shock damage for until the king dies, right? Yes, and he's 22, so, you know, he's probably going to live a while. Now, as for the capital itself, we could burn it down for five professionalism. Really, burning down the city gives professionalism. Okay, or we could spare the city. Oh, here we go. Add some base tax production and manpower to Tbilisi. 250 ducats, that's pretty good. Or 100 diplo power, which is also pretty good. That's a tough one. I like events that make me think about it. Given how many problems I just had with aggressive expansion, though i think taking the aggressive expansion one is the best option also allows me to grab this tech we can core that and i'm actually gonna wait to click this mission because right now we would get 20 strelsies in the capital which is cool but i can't afford them I actually decided to pull those cores back so i can start the golden era a okay, next ally will probably be the timorids because they're not like huge anymore but at least they're not in a terrible situation so let's do that circassia just became a tributary state of muscovy that's a slight problem well let's break our alliance with circassia to start with well actually if circassia would accept vassalization i guess i could make an exception you know what we'll at least try that first took almost 40 years but finally we have a somewhat decent air 254 i'll take it oh yeah that's perfect that's what i need right now thank you okay man i you really you're gonna make me fight my ally oh you're not gonna make me fight my ally okay maybe this works then Hold on. That kind of uh, smells like territory I could take. Hmm. Here, let me just take some land back real quick. Okay, let's do it. Honestly, I'm just here to do a little bit of looting, and I'm gonna allow Muscovy to just, like, fight everybody for me. Oh, but the truce is up with that quail new, and I kind of wasn't paying attention. So, before that disappears and we have a lot of problems, we should invade them. Also, I should invade... I don't even know who these people are, but, like, I should invade them too. Also, fun fact, uh, I should invade you too. Honestly, I should invade this guy as well. Okay, you've surrendered. I'll just hand that off to Bitlis. That's fine. You can hand that off to Tabriz. And I just gotta point out, I, I actually hate this map color so much. <laughs> they have surrendered fully, but uh, I kind of want a little bit more loot. Can you please stop calling me into wars for three seconds, bro? Come on. Okay, I think we've extracted as much money as we're going to get without destroying our war exhaustion. So this is probably a fine peace deal. Okay, well, it's not great. The Mamluks and the Ottomans both join a coalition. Actually, it also includes a jam. Maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Hold on a second. I was just gonna hire a general because I'm like, oh, okay, the last dude died, that's unfortunate. But, uh, that's, that's a lot of pips. That's like a lot of pips. Between 5 and 13 as a base, plus 2. Okay, well, yeah, that is an average of 11 pips, and this guy has 12, so I guess we just got really lucky on the pip allocation. Ace at last. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and sell some titles for money. We'll take some land back. First time in a while I've actually had extra money and it's not just all loans. So that's pretty nice. I can actually invest in the economy a little bit. You know, it might take like 40 years to pay off, but it's, it's fine. So since the next idea group is going to be an admin one, I really want to conquer so much, but I could integrate my vassals. That's going to take a long time. Well, we better get started. It needs the clergy to grab, enforce unity of faith, and religious diplomats for that diplo rep. You know, wait until we're just about ready to annex one of the subjects before I grab the integration policy. Well, first of all, let me insult the Ottomans. Okay, embargo you. We'll embargo you. Not that it really matters, I'm also going to embargo you. So, 
tier 4 reform, I'm a huge fan of the balance of power. Mostly because I have a little bit too much influence on some of these estates. Oh, come on, man. They're asking for money right now. Uh, I want to vassalize you and then say no. But if I say no right now, then we might not be able to vassalize you. That's a problem. Let me just briefly grab this guy. Oh, he's so expensive. But I think I think I need the diplo rep, don't I? Yeah, I definitely need the diplo rep. Okay, let's vassalize you. Perfect. And then let's say no. The next idea group, I do have a couple of options. Option number one is religious ideas, which would make a lot of sense considering our religion and the area that we're around. However, I don't really feel like playing wide. Instead, just as like a joke, you know, I'm going to take infrastructure ideas. I have a particular thing in mind, which might be interesting to explore, but we'll get there when we get there. So it's 1493. And despite the fact that we are not yet a great power, uh, I think we're not doing half bad. The economy, if you can call it that, is actually sort of respectable. It's about the size of Portugal's or Bohemia's. The army's not a bad size for a small power. Oh, but you know what? I probably should use this general at some point. Main problem is we just have so much aggressive expansion. It's really bad. Oh, yeah, there he goes. He's he's gone. <laughs> he saw one battle and then died. Yeah, sure. You know what? Why not? Just we'll just start a, a third war. Yeah. OK, so since this guy is pretty close to being annexed, I will throw on the integration policy that should instantly integrate one of them. There we go. Is this guy retreating onto my fort. I don't even know what's happening anymore. You know what? Sure. A stack wipe's a stack wipe. Okay, with that, we're mostly consolidated. I'm saving up a whole bunch of money so I could buy a fort in Mush. It's a great place. It's a mountains. Finally, peace. And we even got a province, so that's nice of them. Kind of sucks. It's a five dev desert, but we'll, we'll take it. It's fine. Well, this is going to be painful, we really don't have much of a choice. We have to invade a gem. So far, so good. That's one fort captured. The mountain fort's underway. Don't know where all their people are, though. Yeah, there should be like, what is that, 50,000? Oh, apparently. Apparently I have units probably from uh, an annexed subject all the way up there. Oops. Okay, we should be able to stack wipe this guy and hopefully have enough time to get back there before this guy gets stack wiped. There we go. Yeah, that's the reason why I built the fort there. 140% <laughs> fort defense. Disgusting. Oh, here we go. Transoxiana will leave. Perfect. Honestly, this wasn't even close to how bad I was expecting it to be. I set up all the forts. I have all the defensiveness. I'm expecting to get pushed back. Nope. It's just smooth sailing the whole way through. All right. I guess that's that. A little bit of aggressive expansion, but I can live with it. We have a truce with Transoxiana. I think we have a truce with Nogai as well. It doesn't really matter. It does mean we finished a few missions, though. We've reclaimed Shirvan. Gives us more claims and missionary strength. Also, a little bit of development. I'll just make sure I core that first before getting that development. Queen Tamar's ambition, we get Armenian as an accepted culture. I... That's good. Okay, I thought I already accepted it. Okay, 75% cheaper per claim on Azerbaijan. They also wanted to release, I think, somebody here, right? Khorasan. I don't know if it's the right culture, though. That's the problem. Never mind, it can. Okay, you know what? I'll just take that. That's fine. All right, great power. A little bit behind schedule on what I was hoping for, but that's fine. I think things are still going great. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about this, but uh, yeah, I guess those are the right advisors for radical reforms. Kind of want to keep them, though, so I'm just going to fire them. I'm now realizing the absolutely devastating amount of money I'm losing here. <laughs> uh, I think it would be better for me to actually collect in Persia. Yeah, I make a whole six ducats off that. Sheesh. Okay, hold on. These these leaders are getting out of hand. <laughs> that's, that's 15 points. 15 pips. For some reason, that's not showing up there. What? Who are you? <laughs> okay, anyway. Average is like 12 and a half pips so we got pretty lucky with that one especially the five shock oh that's gonna be crazy okay this sounds really stupid i can't exactly tell if this is going to be a really bad idea but you know what i think i think i'm gonna grab this just out of curiosity because i'm wondering like how cheap can you make forts Right now, these bad boys are sitting at minus 30%. But I know that once I take this, it's going to be minus another 25%. So that's minus 55%. If I can have half cost forts, there's no problem with just having a ton of forts and then I can develop all of them. You know, considering how much of this region is mountainous. Well, first we'd have to get to fort level 4. And then we have to dev a couple provinces. But once we do that, we get the privilege, which turns mountains into practically grasslands for development. As long as we put a fort there, of course. So... Half cost forts, fort in every mountain, why not? When the forts are mothballed, they cost just under 0.2 ducats each. Not bad. 
And when they're raised, all of them together, it's just three dockets. Yeah, I think I'm going to like this strategy a lot. I am on tech nine. The Ottomans are tech nine. I think this is going to be it. The war. The David versus Goliath. Might as well finish it off with a bang. So far, so good. We're grabbing Crimea. They don't have the military access to just walk across and grab it. So it's a safe war goal. Shouldn't be too big of an issue to keep that. The problem is the Ottomans are known to stack a ridiculous number of people. Uh, even on forts where it would be a terrible idea. So like this, uh, this used to be like 40,000 people on this one fort, which was awful. But the point is we should be able to make them bleed. And this is just a terrible idea from Muscovy. God, please, why? Why am I cursed with idiots for allies? Man, what a, what a horrible idea. Why are you like this, Muscovy? All right, icons forgotten. Uh, we should probably grab St. Michael. It's a good one. Okay, Crimea is ours. This should be an easy enough wipe, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Leave and scorch that. I don't know if I want to fight that stack. It is the Ottomans. Here we go. Okay, we do have more discipline, actually, and more morale, surprisingly. So... Maybe we could fight them? I think if I ease off the pressure a little bit, they're more likely to leave. But I can't really say for sure. Actually, here's an idea. I know what to do. If we attack this army, the other one should start to panic a little bit, like it's not really sure what to do. And then, ideally, it'll just step off the fort. But I'm not sure, because, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We got lucky today. And because we have more discipline, this is actually turning out to be a really good battle. Damn, better than I expected. Okay, we'll finish this off for dev cost. And uh, attrition for enemies, I mean, if you say so. Last jousting tournament in 1515. I didn't even think it was possible to still get it, but you know what? Perfect timing. I'll take it. I genuinely think we might lose this war because of Muscovy. This is embarrassing. So the Ottomans alone have lost uh, 100,000 men. Okay. We've lost 15,000. Muscovy's just bad at warfare. I don't suppose it could really be any worse than this monstrosity. <laughs> Dude. This is why they've lost almost 50,000 to attrition alone. Oh, it's just, it's just so much attrition. <laughs> It's just so much. I'm not sure if this is going to be a worthwhile battle, but I'm just going to send in the good general. It's like, please, please don't be a bad fight. <laughs> I'm not paying that much attention to these battles. Okay, we take that. That's fine. Oh God, Muscovy, please. Please, bro. Don't do it. You can just stay back. It's, it's not worth it. We can just fight defensively. Let's see. Can I bait anybody into trying to cross here? Yes. Perfect. And it's a mountains. So this should be a good fight. Easy. That guy's locked in. We send him in and we should be good to go. All right. No problem. Okay. I went ahead and spawned colonialism in this problem. I don't know how to pronounce that. Just because it's right next to the capital and it's dry land, so it's not that expensive. Uh, it was still kind of a pain, but at least we have colonialism in a province. Byzantine refugees. Hold on a second. Now, I'm no historian, but from what I can tell, Constantinople fell really early into the game. I don't know why I'm getting this 70 years later, but I'll take it. Okay, the entire strategy kind of relies on the Ottomans not attacking this one stack. Everything falls apart if they attack it, so uh, we're just gonna have to cross our fingers a little bit and pray that the AI's, uh, you know, not the smartest as per usual. Ooh, Muscovy's left. That's pretty cringe, man. Oh no. Well, uh, we can probably finish this off, actually. I don't think there will be that big of a problem. Muscovy was a solid distraction, but I don't think it's like a huge issue. Okay, the Ottomans are going to try and walk onto that, so maybe I should like discourage them a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that wouldn't have been a very good fight. Okay, Tunis wants to leave. Great. I think we should be able to farm a little bit of war score from battles, but not forever because I don't have a lot of manpower. And a gift from Poland. Holy base. Let's go. You know what would be an even better gift though, rather than money? You should invade the Ottomans. <laughs> I'm just saying. If, if little old Georgia can invade the Ottomans, I'm sure the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth would have no problem. Oh, that's so many people. I want to make sure I just lure in like a couple thousand. Please just don't, don't send everybody, dude. That is, that is horrible. Oh God. Oh, it's so over. <laughs> okay, it can't be that bad, right? Like it'll, yeah, no, it's, it's going to be bad. Oh, it's going to be so bad. I thought it would be like 20,000. Nope, that's, that's a lot of Ottomans. You could even say that's a lot of Ottomans. Oh no. But we won? Okay. Never mind. All right, reform number five. Oh, you already know what it's going to be. I don't even need to say anything. Hey, if I'm going to go with the meme strat, I'm not going to settle for half measures. Oh, it's so beautiful. Never thought it would be this easy to crush the Ottomans. Okay, well, I wouldn't say crush, but, you know, we're definitely beating them. There isn't really a limit to how long I can fight this war, except for the fact that once I get to 66% war score, the game's gonna be like, Hey, buddy, you've been at war for, like, you know, almost 10 years. Do you want to, like, maybe stop winning so hard? And then it gives you war exhaustion, so... 
Oh, okay. Apparently we're having another battle. All right. Is anybody going to take the bait? Of course they are. They always do. Uh oh. Uh, they might reinforce me. Me. I mean, I did scorch this, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh God, please, please. My God, dude. One day before reinforcements. Let's go. All right. We're winning, winning now. 79% war score. Let's go, baby. 11 from that battle. Yeah, that's maximum from battles, maximum from taking. I think we're pretty much done here. We have no loans, so I don't really need money from them. Kind of want this territory up here plus this, because surprisingly, like half of the mission tree is locked behind taking that. So if you plan on playing Georgia, you might want to know that. Anyway, that looks good to me. Beautiful. All right, with Crimea seized, upgrading centers of trade grants plus one local diplo dev, but only for the modifier. So for 10 years specifically, upgrading centers of trade gives you one diplo oddly specific but okay we finally finished this off so it'll remove all autonomy and separatism in trebizond we've also slain the white sheep very long time ago that gives us a 100 tradition general Irma claims on a disgusting amount of land and shock damage received all right let's check out this general see how he is yeah could use a few more shock pips but pretty solid seizing crimea from the ottomans is probably a good place to end things for now actually you know what just give me a second here okay we can sell some titles see some land back and use that plus just like a tiny amount of dev in here just to finish that off and i'll grab just enough money to embrace the institution beautiful With that we're the number five great power nothing too impressive but not that bad the economy is just kind of okay you know 40 dockets nothing particularly impressive although with 12 fortresses fully maintained we are only paying like four dockets so the war with the ottomans was very long and draining both in terms of manpower and mentally but I'm not really too sure if I want to continue this run. I would like to check out the rest of the mission tree. I love mission trees. So if you guys want to see at least a continuation, I don't know if I can finish this tree. I haven't looked at everything, but if you want to see a part two to Georgia, I think it's going to have to be something like 3000 likes because I'm really not so sure. There are some other mission trees that I want to check out, like the Persia one, but I know there have been videos about that already. So I, I don't know if you guys want to see that. There is also the Karabakh one. I know it's close to Georgia, but you know, different mission tree and all that. What I'm saying is there's tough competition for mission trees. If you want to see a part two specifically to Georgia, you're going to need to drop those 3000 likes. But thank you very much for watching. If you're new around here or you haven't subscribed for whatever reason, like, uh, you know, like more, more than half of you haven't subscribed, actually. But I think that would be a good idea. Anyway, for now, this is Corbett signing off. And as always, have a fantastic day. A big thank you to all the patrons this month who receive early access to videos. In particular, thank you, Baby Cal, Nick Steffel, Q Brute, Rafao, Outgone Regions, Quiet Guy, Torvald, Ambient Cyan, Robert Kaleno, James Levy, Luke78776, Chewy Shoot, The Watcher, Brova, Robert, and Jamie.